be uniform or just exercise clothes. But the gear you wear is actually a second skin. When it comes to athletic performance, can what you wear really affect how well you do? Nowadays, most athletic clothing is focused on getting rid of sweat. The buzzword is wicking, using fabric that moves sweat away from the body to keep us dry. But could that actually be the wrong way to deal with sweat? To find out, we jumped over the pond to visit a laboratory in Switzerland. AMPA is an independent facility that tests materials, textiles, and technologies for clients like the Swiss military. Here in this lab, they're testing clothing made by a company called Xbionic. The makers of Xbionic clothes believe there's a better way to design athletic apparel, a way to turn sweat into energy. If you just ask yourself the question, why do we sweat? And what sense does it make to take the sweat away from the body? Then we wouldn't sweat, you know, the evolution would have developed a human being without sweating. To examine the evolution of sporting apparel, sports science host John Brinkus will begin the test wearing regular workout gear. Now I'm gonna run in 125 degree heat. I'm gonna take my thermometer pill so that we can monitor my core body temperature. While the temperature we feel on the outside, on our skin, is important, it's the body's core temperature, deep inside, around the heart and organs. That's critical. If the body core temperature goes above 4 degrees Celsius, at one stage you will not be able to control your muscles uh, anymore, or it can be even more dangerous and go to a heart attack or a complete collapse of the, of the whole thermoregulation system. Oh my god, that's hot. The climate chamber immediately climbs to a scorching 125 degrees Fahrenheit. I've only been running for a, a few minutes. I feel like I've been running for hours. John's clothing is wicking the sweat away from his torso. So it evaporates not on his skin, but on the outside of his shirt. Our thermal imaging camera reveals that it's not helping his body maintain thermal regulation. John's core temperature is now over 102 degrees. If it climbs above 104 degrees, John could suffer heat stroke, kidney damage, and even brain damage. With less sweat left on his body to evaporate, John's feeling weak because his body is using all of its resources just to cool down. Very simply, our body only can perform with a core temperature of 37 centigrade. And he takes nearly all his energy to keep this regulation. After only 14 minutes on the treadmill, in 125 degree heat, disaster strikes. Can we stop for a second? The sensors inside John's body indicate that his core temperature peaked at a dangerous 104 degrees. So could John's clothes have actually contributed to his collapse? The makers of Xbionic Sporting Gear believe that moisture wicking, moving sweat away from the skin, actually works against our body's built-in cooling system. To test the theories at work in Xbionic's revolutionary clothing system, we enlisted a man who has pushed the limits of human performance to unbelievable extremes. World record holding ultra triathlete, Vincenzo Catalano. Vincenzo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you into the climate chamber. What we wanna see is how the X-Bionic clothing regulates your body temperature. But what I have is a sensor that you're gonna swallow yes. and we're gonna be able to see wirelessly what your core body temperature is yes. at every moment. Okay. All right? Here we go. Okay. With this X-Bionic gear on and the internal sensor in place, it's time to turn up the heat. In the blistering heat, it doesn't take long for Vincenzo to start sweating. 
and the ex-Bionic Clothing is also working hard. Here's what's happening. Ex-Bionic's researchers have developed a unique fabric that uses several techniques to keep an athlete cool. Rather than simply wick the sweat away from the skin, the ex-Bionic fabric traps sweat in micro ducts. As the sweat travels through the ducts, it absorbs excess body heat and evaporates on the warm outer surface, releasing the excess heat away from the body. Some of this moisture condenses and is absorbed back into the skin in a cooler state. And panels of microducts are built in where the body produces the most sweat. The chest, armpits, and back. These panels help channel the remaining moisture and evaporation over a wider surface area on the skin, providing maximum cooling effects. We see quite well how the garment is, is functioning. We have the production here in the middle of the chest that is the, the highest. It will be then wicked laterally, and so it can evaporate uh, on the whole part of the, of the chest. If we can double the area that would be wet, we would also have the double cooling. Another ex-bionic innovation that improves performance is compression. The typical all-over squeezing of compression garments inhibits circulation restricting cooling and oxygen flow to the muscles. The normal compression is you got the clothing and this compress the skin. They squeeze the whole blood out of the capillaries and so it can't cool anymore. x Bionics solved this problem by spacing out the compression and aligning it with the body's blood vessels. This keeps the muscle stabilizing effects of compression while improving blood circulation through the capillaries. This helps the cooling process, reduces injuries, and increases fresh oxygen flow to the muscles, improving performance. Vincenzo could maintain a core body temperature below 99 degrees Fahrenheit, or 37 centigrade. That's because the X-Bionic clothing works with his body's evolutionary cooling systems, not against them. But for an ultra triathlete like Vincenzo, a run like this is a walk in the park. He wants more. So we put him on a bike in a scientifically controlled downpour. In cold, wet conditions, the same channels that pump warm air away from the body in the blistering heat work like insulation. These micro channels trap warm air near the body. While exerting, the air warmed by the body is pumped out of the channels like a bellows. And this insulation keeps working when the workout is over. As soon as exertion slows or stops, the warm air is trapped against the body. X-Bionic's design keeps the body warm, reducing the energy loss due to shivering, and lowers the risk of muscle strains or tears after exercise. I feel uh, a lot of benefits wearing these clothes. So X-Bionic gear works for an incredible endurance athlete under any weather conditions. But can it make a difference for an incredibly average athlete? John enters the climate chamber again, but Go this ahead. time he's wearing X-Bionic gear. In the regular gear, his core body temperature shot up to 104 degrees and failed. But in the same brain-melting 125 degree heat, John's core temperature never climbs above 100 degrees, allowing him to use his energy for performance. An amazing difference, created simply by wearing the cutting-edge clothing engineered by X-Bionic. So whether you're a world-class endurance athlete or a thoroughly average athlete, your performance can be improved if you wear a technology like X-Bionic clothing that can turn sweat into energy.